What about you, boy? But what about each boy? Just so I back with another video, guys. You know it. Anyway, it's gonna be another Goosebumps book review, or I'm gonna do three of these today, and maybe another video. I don't know. Uh, probably be just doing the Goosebumps book reviews though. Today's video review. This one's review is gonna be on the Girl Who Cried Monster. Um, I've read this about ten times, with all all in my life so far in my life. Uh, I like both the episode and the book. Um, I'm not sure, um, if, uh, I, I like the end episode's ending a lot more than I like the book's ending, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, the reason why I like the episode's ending, it just left, it just ended better, I, I mean, I will read you the ending to this book, to the book, but I will, by the same way, so basically what the book's about is, this girl named Lucy, who likes to tell monster stories to scare her little brother, um, and like uh, her family and friends are sick of the, hearing the stories. So during the summer, she joins a like a, a the librarian like the the library summer reading program, where like they get a book or like, she gets a book every few every month or something like that or every few weeks and she has to read it I guess. And the librarian is a guy named Mr. Mortman, this guy right here. And one night, or one night, she gets caught in the library and turn, finds out that Mr. Mormon's a monster who likes to eat in the book. He he eats, I believe, flies and sea ch and baby turtles. And in the book or in the show, it's spiders and fly crickets. I think it's spiders and crickets in the show. I'm not mistaken. Either it's crickets or spi and um baby turtles or crickets and spiders. I'm not sure. I think it's crickets and sp and baby turtles or flies and baby turtles in the the book, and crickets and uh sp and um, spider and spiders in uh the movie episode. Anyways, back to the back to it. So, so she basically runs home, tells her parents. Her parents don't believe her. Her brother's freaking out because he. I think my favorite part was when in the episode when he. I think it's in the book too, when she's like, "Oh my God, there's a monster at the library. Monster, where?" The brother says, <laughs> he freaks out, and then the dad's like, Hello, Lucy, you don't say hello anymore? Hello, Dad, there's a monster at the library. <laughs> and his parents don't believe him, and then... So she tries to stay after one night to get video proof. And she ends up doing so, but has the flash on and caught, gets caught. And the Mr. Mormon knows it's Lucy, and he runs and he runs after her. Pretty much my favorite line of all of Goosebumps history has to be Mr. Mormon's line in the episode when Lucy tries to run. That thing is my favorite line, and it, it cracks me up to this day. And this is one of the most well, it was probably one of the terrifying, most terrifying books in the Goosebumps series, and it's and it's actually number eight, which is kind of sad too. Um, so. And what the sad, I think what makes it bad about it would be, um, the line is, keep running, little one. This is after Lucy is starting to run away. Keep running, little one. I love fast food. <laughs> I remember laughing my ass off when I, when I was probably 10 years old when I first saw that episode. And I think I had watched it on YouTube, and I was dying. I was literally dying. I was. I thought it was so funny. Uh, the sad thing was I was in class, so my teacher had to tell me to be quiet because I was laughing that loud. Anyways, um, back to the back to the thing. Um, so basically, she runs home, and she tells her parents, and her parents don't believe her. But you know what? They're tired of her um lies and and her uh, you know fibbing and all that type of shit. So they said, you know what, we're going to invite Mr. Mormon to dinner and to sell it as once and for all to prove that there is no, that there is, Mr. Mormon's not a monster and monsters don't exist, you know. And they have Mr. Mormon over for dinner, but then while they're having him over for dinner, their parents, her parents eat him. And if you, in the ending, it turns, it turns out to be that Mr. Mor that their, her parents are monsters and therefore, in fact, Lucy and her brother are also monsters too. Which they just haven't gotten their fangs yet. 
or their ability to transform and change. And in the and she they told him it was so hard to believe her that there was another monster in town because there hasn't been another monster since them for the last twenty years in the town. Here, I'll read you the book, the ending now. Here, let me get to the ending. Being in the librarian must be interesting work, Mom said, taking a seat by beside Mr. Mormon on the couch. Dad was standing at the side of the couch. They chatted for a while, and as they talked, Mr. Mormon kept darting glances at me. Randy, sitting across, I'm guessing Randy is his brother. Um, Randy, sitting across, legged on the floor, drummed his fingers on the carpet. Mom and Dad seemed calm and perfectly eased. Mr. Mormon seemed a little uncomfortable. He had glistening beads of perspiration on his shiny round forehead. Most of them growled loudly, more from the near... Um, the nervousness than than from hunger. No one seemed to hear it. Uh, the three adults chatted while a while longer. Mr. Mormon spit, sipped had his iced tea. He leaned back on the couch and smiled at my mother. It was so kind of you to invite me. I don't get too many home cooked meals. What's for dinner? He asked. You are. My dad told him, stepping in front of the couch. What? Mr. Mormon raises a hand. Behind his ear? I didn't hear you correctly. What is for dinner? You are, Dad repeated. Oh, Mr. Mormon let out a little cry and turned bright red. He struggled to raise himself from the low couch. But Mom and Dad were too fast for him. They both pounced on him. Their fangs popped out, popped down, and they gobbled the librarian up in less than a minute. Bones and all. Randy laughed gleefully. I had a big smile on my face. My brother and I haven't gotten our fangs yet. That's why we couldn't join in. Well, that's it. That's that, Mom said, standing up, straining the couch cushion. Then she turned to Randy and me. That's the first monster to come to um, Timberland Falls in the nearly 20 years, she told us. That's why it, it took us so long to believe you, Lucy. You sure gobble him up, him up fast, I exclaimed. In a few years, you'll get your fangs, Mom said. Me too, Randy declared. Then maybe I won't be afraid of monsters anymore. Mom and Dad chuckled. Then Mom's express, expression turned serious. You both understand why we had to do that, don't you? We can't allow other monsters in town. It would frighten the whole community, and we don't want people to get frightened and chase us away. We like it here. Dad burped loudly. Part of me, he said, covering his mouth. Later that night, I was upstairs in Randy's room. He was all tucked in, and I was telling him a bedtime story. And so the librarian hid behind the tall shelf. I said in a low whispery voice. And when the little boy named Randy reached up and put the book from the shelf, the librarian stuck his long arms through the shelf and grabbed the boy. And Lucy, how many times do I have to tell you? I glanced up to see my mom standing in the door, way a frown on her face. I don't want you fighting your little brother before bedtime, Mom scolded. You'll give him nightmares. Now, come on, Lucy. No more monster stories. Again, I don't like the way that ended. I like the way it ended in the book or in this episode because of... It's just, oh, yeah, we're monsters, too. I won't get our, we won't get our fangs yet. Okay, bye. That's the end of the episode. It's a good ending, I think. It just left because this one is what, okay, it just took the entire shock out of everything. This one, basically, the, the one took, after it takes the shock out of it, you're like, oh yeah, you got monsters too. But the ending of the episode, it's like, oh yeah, I forgot, we are monsters too, and we won't get our fangs yet so, until we get older. Then the end episode ends. That's it. That was what, that was why I liked that episode ending. Again, I never liked Mr. Mormon. I, thought, I didn't think he was that scary. Uh, I remember reading this at, I think, around age eight. And, again, I don't... It was scary. It's scary if you're, like, pretty pretty young, like you're seven years old, to read the to read this. I would say it's pretty scary. But if you're, like, eight or nine, not that, it's not that scary. Uh, I give this a ten out of um, ten for scare factor if you're under the age. Um... 
and I would say um, 8 out of 10 for nostalgia. Um, but other than that, I give it a, goose, it's a Goosebumps approved book. Uh, it never really gave me Goosebumps as a kid. I would just say it was okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just looking at the uh, back the thing on the caption. She got the monster of all problems. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, guys.